Hello everyone, today we got one Lenovo 510 idea pad. Okay, so today we would know how to upgrade the RAM for this machine. By the way, this is a nice and cool machine, but the problem with it is it comes with 4 GB of RAM, which is very, very low for Windows 10. So we're going to open up and see how to upgrade the RAM for Lenovo IdeaPad 510. Okay, so first flip it to the back cover and you need a Phillips screwdriver. By the way, I got another 4 GB DDR4. This one takes DDR4 RAM, so make sure you check the correct model. Okay, and then open up this panel. This is for hard drive or SSD and this panel for the RAM stick, I believe. So let's open it up and check. Okay, you don't have to remove the battery because the battery is built in. Okay. Yeah. As you can see here, there are only one slot. The reason is another 4 GB that is built in, which is soldered on the motherboard. Okay, so you can replace it. But that's a nice option to upgrade your RAM stick. So what you need to do. Okay, so now we're going to connect it in here. As you can see. This part is little bit wider than this so make sure you check okay so just plug it in like that and push it down once you hear the click noise that's mean it's done okay so by the way before we put the back cover on we're gonna turn it on and see if there is any error message because sometimes it couldn't support because of the different model I believe so I'm gonna open it hit the power button and see what happens Hopefully there is charge. If not, I need to plug in the charger. Okay. Yeah, so it's turning on. As you can see the welcome screen. Um, let me show you again. Okay. There is no window, so that's why. Uh, as you can see, the screen is already open. So that's mean the RAM is working perfectly. So what are you gonna do? We're gonna go to the BIOS and find out if everything is all right. Okay. So for this machine to get into BIOS, Normally, ordinary system is we press from F1 to F12, it depends on the machine. But for Lenovo IdeaPad, it's completely different. They attach another little button, which is called Novo button. So make sure your system is turned off. And then, you need a pin, paper clip, or SIM ejector tools to get into BIOS to find out everything is okay or not. So in the left-hand side, as you can see, right next to the... Uh, audio jack there is a little hole that is called Novo button so make sure your system is off push a cable in there and it should take you straight to the BIOS option all right so as you can see here normal startup BIOS setup and system recovery so I'm going to go to BIOS setup just to find out the memory is okay or not here okay so as you can see the system memory shows 8192 8192 MB that's mean 8 gigabyte okay which is absolutely fine so it seems the memory I mean the DDR4 RAM is 100% suitable for it and it did work that's why 8 GB in here okay so thank you for watching guys yeah I hope you like this video if you do like hit the like button and if you do subscribe you can get my future videos bye for now